This lecture is about the state constitution of Georgia. State constitutions outline the structure of the state, so it tells you how the state government is structured and how it functions, and it, of course it also tells you the process to amend or change the constitution. State constitutions generally are much longer and much more detailed than our federal constitution, and thus states seem to be up for less interpretation. Georgia state government was formed in 1776, and since that time we've had 10 constitutions, and they have been amended hundreds of times. To amend the Constitution today, both houses of Congress, or of the Georgia General Assembly, must pass the proposed constitutional amendment by a two-thirds vote. The ratification of that amendment then goes to the voters of the state of Georgia at the next general election, and it must be passed by a majority of the voters. Our current Constitution was ratified in 1982 and implemented in 1983. The biggest changes um, with our current Constitution as opposed to previous Constitutions is we see a wider implementation of home rule as well as a consolidation of Georgia's previously very massive court system. So we see in this Constitution some of those duplicate classification of courts were streamlined. Also in our current Constitution you'll notice a separation of powers which very much mirrors our federal government's separation of powers. Every single government has to make law, implement law, and interpret law. And so in the state of Georgia, we've simply separated those functions, those governing roles amongst three branches. And we will look at those three branches in detail in another lecture.